Good morning everyone. So today is another day exploring the beautiful Greek island of Milos. If you watched the previous video, you'll know that we went to many amazing places. And today I think we're gonna visit some even better places. So we're probably gonna visit like three, four, maybe even five places. It depends how much time we get during the day. And the spot that we're at now is called Sara Kiniko. I think that's how you pronounce it. And this is supposed to be one of the most beautiful spots here. It's kind of similar to the one that we went to yesterday where it's like a rock with a division in the middle where the water enters. Just looks like a bigger version, that's all. And this place has uh, boats here. The one that we went to yesterday didn't have any like boat tours coming, so definitely a uh, more popular spot. Rock here looks like uh, smoother, doesn't it? Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> it's like we are in the moon or something. Yeah, didn't we see that description? They said it was like lunar. Lunar scenery. Lunar scenery. That's exactly how it is, but <laughs> there's an ocean. Yeah. There's no ocean in the moon. <laughs> yeah, so you can do some cliff jumping around here as well. Whoa, that's a big cliff. You could jump from here though. I think so. <laughs> it, it looks like it's deep. Yeah. Ah, oh, that's super deep. Ah, so there's another cool spot here on the moon. Got a sinkhole. Oh, beautiful color. So you can swim in there as well. And then I guess on this side is just some more like cliff jumping spots. <laughs> and some more caves. <laughs> oh, that's a huge cave. I think they're gonna jump, right? Yeah, I want to jump too, but I need to, to know if I can get up. <laughs> get out? Yeah. There we go. Oh, they're all going. I miss them. Yeah. Are you happy that we decided to come to Milos? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I think this is like a, not a very famous island in Greece, but yeah, it's beautiful and different from the others, different from Santorini and from what we saw, it's also different from the next islands that we're going after. We weren't even planning to come to Milos either. We were going to do four islands in uh, four weeks, like almost a week in each one. And then kind of like last minute, uh, the last two days in Santorini, we just thought, oh, let's add, a, let's add a fifth one since it's not too far to get around the islands. And yeah, then we came to Milos. And like Carol said, I think it's the only one that's like this with white rocks. So that's why I wanted to come here, something different. Before we continue, we are going to talk about the sponsor of this video, Surfshark. Surfshark is a VPN provider that we have been using on all of our devices while traveling for the last year and a half. Surfshark allows us to have a private connection anywhere in the world, keeping our personal information and data safe from potential hackers. Besides this, Surfshark also gives us access to all Netflix libraries. 
Different countries have access to different series and films on Netflix, but with Surfshark you can set your devices to any country in the world, giving you access to them all. Surfshark also allows you to avoid travel restrictions when visiting internet-restricted countries. Using Surfshark you can access any website or app anywhere in the world. With just one single account, you can connect to unlimited devices, which means you can use it on all your family devices. Click on the link in the video description, which has the discount code Jumping Places to get 83% off and 3 months for free. During this month of June, Surfshark is giving away their antivirus for free. This also includes a 30-day money-back guarantee. So before we head out, we're just going to check out some of the caves that are in these rocks. So this one just goes super deep. I wonder why they made these things. Whoa. No way. It even goes to the side. Kyle, what the hell is this place? It's like a tunnel. Not a cave, a tunnel. Yeah, it's like a big tunnel. Like, you can go through here. There's steps. What the hell? I thought it was just like tiny caves. Yeah, me too. It's like a huge tunnel system. Yeah, what a weird place. Yeah. Right next to the part that we were swimming. So we've now come to a spot that I saw on the drone actually. I flew over to here and I saw the water looked incredible. And we also saw that there's a restaurant here. We don't know if it's gonna be open, but we'll see. And yeah, this is why we came here. Look at the water here. That's the nicest water that we've seen so far in Milos. And there's a beach here. So you can go to that beach, some people swimming. And I thought it looked cool cause it just, you just had like the mountainous backdrops. So the sign back there said this area is called Mandrakia. I guess that's like the, the village name. That's the nicest place we've seen, right? For yeah. water. Yeah, and we were not actually planning to come here. So it's a very nice surprise. Beautiful water. Yeah, amazing. And like barely anybody on that beach, like a little secret beach. So this area is absolutely tiny though. And I guess these are accommodations that you can yeah, stay in as well. Stay here. <laughs> yeah, you have that awesome beach right in front. Oh, and they have the, the same kind of boat. That like, we saw yesterday. Yeah, like boat garage or something. <laughs> yeah, we went to Klima, right? Yeah. Yeah, check this cute little area out here. Also really nice water. So yeah, it is. it's like boat garages there in the cliffside. Little fisherman place, I guess. Had to have a cute little church too. <laughs> yeah, every town. <laughs> every place in, uh, in Greece. So it turns out that it was a good choice to eat here. Once again, a cool place on the coast. So the place that we were just at is beyond those cliffs over there. What's the name of this place anyway? I don't even know. Medusa. Uh, Medusa. I think I might go for some uh, sardines this time. Grilled sardines, nine euros 40. Good price as well. And they just brought this for starters. Sometimes you don't even have to ask for it. They just bring uh, bread and olives anyway. What's that? Organic extra virgin olive oil. So once again in Greece, the food came in like three minutes. <laughs> and they serve like super fast in some places here. And Carol got like uh, codfish. What's that like? It's just some little potato salad thing. Yeah, it is. Eight euros ninety, so also a good price. But it doesn't come with any sides really. So my sardines, all I got was sardines, but we had loads of bread and olives anyway. Smells nice though. Just come down to the bottom now. It's really a delicious meal that once again. It's really cute here. It might even be nicer than Klima. Like a little little fishing port here. Like a natural one really. You have all these rocks protecting the area. Uh, so once again they're drying out the octopus. We saw that in uh, Santorini. 
One of our followers told us that we needed to eat octopus here in Greece or the Greek uh, people would be angry at us because it's a very traditional thing to do but both of us are allergic to yeah. octopus and shellfish so we cannot eat it. So it was a bit dodgy to find uh, parking at this beach. There's these like little areas here where cars can park. We were trying to get closer to the beach down that road, but all the little spots that are scattered around were already taken. So yeah, we just parked back there. And this is called Firi Plaka Beach, Firi Plaka. And it's supposed to be one of the nicest beaches on the island. Oh, I think that's it back there. That is some gigantic cliff edge. Yeah, and here I can already see that it's not as white as it is on the other side. Like here it's more like an orangey and red, I think. Yeah, it's like a mix of different colors, this rock here. There are some white areas, but yeah, very red and orange too. Yeah, I can see why people say well, it's one of the best beaches though. This looks pretty amazing. Very different to any beach that we've seen on the island. And it's also very sandy, it seems. Not like a rocky pebbly beach so that's nice i think that's the only beach that we've seen so far that has the sunbeds right yeah there was another one uh, next to the the port town oh okay remember the, but it's not like this it looks like a, a lagoon it doesn't look like a beach the other one the other one yeah, yeah. this is more like a proper beach they yeah, got bean bags as well that looks cool we have our little beach towel <laughs> So I don't think I mentioned in the videos on Milo so far, but this is also a volcanic island like uh, Santorini, but the last eruption was ages and ages ago. It wasn't so recent as Santorini and Santorini kind of even looks like a volcano. Okay, it's all kind of black, dark brown. This, um, yeah, it doesn't really look like a volcano, but apparently it is. Oh, check out that rock as well. So I think the beach is kind of divided in two by these rocks here. We're gonna check out the, the other side. So that's another cool thing about coming here to Milos. A lot of the landscapes and beaches are pretty different to each other. It's not like one of those islands that you go to and all the beaches kind of look the same and the scenery looks the same. Yeah, everywhere is a bit unique, I guess. And the water is just absolutely beautiful. It's like super clear, super transparent. And that is one beautiful backdrop right there. So I think this is actually a nude beach, right? Yeah, naturist beach. We just realized it because we saw people... Uh, naked. <laughs> naked, and then when we uh, looked into Google Maps, it was saying that this part, not the other part, only this part is a naturist beach. I mean, we didn't know that, but we ended up choosing this area just because the scenery was nicer here. And that's pretty common throughout Greece. If you look on all the islands, it always appears uh, nude beaches everywhere, so you can't really avoid them. Even on the way here, on the drive here, we passed a few of them. I think it's just pretty common throughout Europe. Yeah, I think people overall are more open to the, to the idea of just wearing nothing on a beach. It's just very normal, I think, for most of the people. In Europe. Yeah, it's not like... In in the Americas, like South America or North America, yeah. it's different. Just there are areas, but it's not like super common, like yeah. here there's many areas. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Even on the other places that we went today, we saw some uh, girls topless. It's and just, that wasn't even a nude beach, no, it's just... It's just the... Just whatever, yeah. it's normal. <laughs> so like right now, this is the only angle I can shoot because there's nude people on either side of us. Actually, that person is, right? Yeah. In the water? Mm -hmm. Okay, never mind. 
this angle. <laughs> So we've now come to our last beach stop of the day. This is a beach called Sigrado or Tisigrado, however you pronounce it. And this was just a one minute drive down the coast. I think you can even walk here uh, in four minutes from the place that we were at. And this place apparently has a bit of a different entry. It's down this cliff side here. I think there's like rope and I think there's even uh, ladders. I don't know, we'll see. Sure looks nice down there though. Yeah, I guess we gotta go down here. Ah, oh, there's already ladders right here. This is the sketchiest entrance ever. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Better be worth it. Oh, didn't realize it would be like this bad. <laughs> Man, I think there's another set of ladders here. What the hell? <laughs> this, is, this is not a good idea. I think it'll be easier uh, coming back up. Yeah, I hope so. Never had to go on a ladder like this before. You okay? Yeah, guys, if we knew it was like this, I don't think we would have come because this is just crazy. <laughs> but uh, a proper ladder. Either. Yeah, it's like huge gaps. Yeah. Well, this is the beach. Obviously, there's nobody really here with that entrance. Poor people. And it's in the shade now, pretty much. But we wanted the shade anyway. That's oh, a nice little closed area though, isn't it? Yeah. Wow, look at all this. This is just a huge layer of seaweed. Wow. Look <laughs> at the, the cave. Oh yeah, over there. And here, look. <laughs> Always caves everywhere on this island. Oh, you can stand up. <laughs> Bizarre, isn't it? Does it go deeper? Uh, I can see. I can see it. Alright. Well, I'm not going deeper. Oh yeah, it does. Maybe I will go deeper. Anybody in there? <laughs> wow. It, it actually goes like deep into there. <laughs> oh, interesting. Yeah, so like I was saying, every spot that we come to is very different to the other spots. This part is beautiful, isn't it? Yeah, it's crazy. There's nobody here. Yeah, the secret beach. <laughs> now arrived in the old town of Placa just walking around right now and it's gonna be the sunset in about 40 50 minutes so we're just making our way up the hill because up there is a old castle and it's supposed to be the best uh, sunset spot around here yeah it sure is extra quiet around here <laughs> way quieter than any place that we saw in uh, Santorini in the historic towns there. It's like nobody around. Oh, that's a nice pathway. Oh, that's cute. Yeah, there's just loads of different walkways, just like the places in Santorini. Carol's already getting a camera out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then here they have the, the drawings on the ground. Yeah, like a painting. Looks really cool.
All right, so we've made it to the castle now, Blacker Castle or the Venetian Castle of Milos. And this is from the 13th century when the Venetians ruled over this area. Good views. Yeah. Yeah, this is why it's the sunset spot. Just gotta wait now. Wow, so from up here, you can pretty much see the whole island almost. So we're staying all the way over there in Polonia. And some of those beaches that we went to today were around this coast here. And then the last beaches that we went to were all the way over there. I think they would have seen all the invaders coming from up here. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> It's, it's really, like I said, 360 views of the island, and you can see everywhere. Yeah, see the boats coming in. The Ottomans, I think it was the Ottomans that uh, defeated the Venetians. So it ended up being a pretty good sunset. At one point it looked like it was gonna die off and then yeah, it kind of came back. Kind of red, right? Yeah, it's very red right now. <laughs> yeah, like a red sun. And it looked like some laser was coming out of it at one point, like some super red laser. I don't think we've ever seen a sunset like that before. And we found our own little spot here. Got a bunch of people there at the chapel on the top of the hill. And that's it for our trip here in Milos, so we've absolutely loved this island. Definitely better than Santorini if you're looking for like a beach vacation, right? Yeah. Yeah, the village there is way more spectacular than the village here, but yeah, if you just like beaches, this is a better option. And in the next video, we're going to be heading to an island called Paros, so that's going to be in two days time. So yeah, looking forward to seeing how that island compares to the last two that we visited. If you like this one, just drop a like to support us. Subscribe if you like to see more videos like this. Follow us on Instagram and we'll see you in the next one.